In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some on-chain metrics to give a better prediction as to how long we need to wait around while this price just chops around and consolidates. Let's get into it. take a look at some on-chain metrics. This is the net profit and loss. There are a lot of metrics on uh, Glassnode that look at some, some on-chain data, but what I am most interested in, being that I'm a Wyckoff trader, being that I'm a momentum trader, and being that I trade the cycles, the common denominator of that style of trading is human emotion. And we can capture human emotion right here on the charts. So I wanna take a look at profit and loss. So we can see here on the on-chain data, we're currently sitting at uh, most of the market being in profit. When most of the market is in profit, we are displaying as green. When about you know a good amount of the market is in profit, we're in yellow. When most of the market is not in profit, but there are some people in profit, we're in orange. And when most market participants are sitting at a loss, we are in red. There are two mania phases inside of a macro cycle. When you're in a bull market, it's typically a four-year cycle. You get one year of down, one year of sideways, and two years of up, where the first year is slow, but you do get a mania phase inside of that year, and the second year is very fast, and that's usually the most exciting part of the market. Now, I want to take a look at both the 2012-2013 cycles and the 2016-2017 cycle. So you can see the red here, big, huge downtrend inside of the bear market, capitulation, tons of the market participants in the red, and then we began to crawl out. We got into the orange, we consolidated, we got close to the all-time highs, and we actually had a lot of the market get into profit right here, but then come back into the yellow range where not a lot of the market is in profit. So we have this green came back down into the yellow. After that, we got the second wave that went back into the green and got into the blue where every single person who was in crypto was in profit. These mark the tops of the market. You can see it marked the top here. You can see it marked the top here. You can see it marked the top here. Not only are we not up there, we're not even close to it. So that's one check mark that can assure us that we have more bull cycle ahead of us. All right. So this chart on the bottom here is going to be the 2013 cycle. This chart in the middle is going to be the 2017 cycle. And the chart at the top is our current cycle. So let's go back over to on-chain data. And we're going to pull the fractal from after we hit the green to up until we went green again, which is down here in the price right here. So that's this price action right here. And I'm going to take a bar pattern and I'm going to copy that and paste it in today's channel. Let's make it fit a little bit closer. So based on the 2013 consolidation, we can reasonably expect uh, a consolidation that could potentially last until uh, January. Uh, not ideal. And I'm not saying it has to happen. These are just good ways for us to temper our expectations and learn that, you know, these long-term consolidations, they're actually a good thing. The longer you trade sideways, the higher you can get in price. Now let's go to the 2017 cycle. Going back over to our on-chain data, we hit the green, went back into the yellow, and then went back green again. So let's grab this fractal from price. So this accumulation is a little bit shorter. This one is bringing us to the beginning of October, late September, but we also have two data points now and we can establish a trend. So we can see that in the earlier cycles, the, the reaccumulations took longer. Now, it fundamentally is a different market right now. We have ordinals driving demand. We have ETFs driving demand. If we start to get uh, other countries bringing on ETFs and if the ordinals market really begins to pick up again, I wouldn't be surprised if we get yet another short consolidation. We do have a trend here, so we could potentially take off in July or something like that. That is all the time I have for today. If you guys enjoyed this content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the links below so you can get into our free VIP training trading group where we are sharing all of our signals, entries, exits, stop losses. If you're completely new to trading and you don't know where to begin, you may as well go somewhere where you don't have to pay an admission. Our group is 100% free. It will always be free. All that we ask is if you do take one of our trades that you use one of our partner exchanges that we have inside of the Discord. Get into the Discord. All the details are there. And until next time, trade safe. It is jungle out there. Peace.